Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and may I welcome the Prime Minister. The first British Asian Prime Minister oh, is a go. significant moment in our national story. Yeah. And it's a reminder that for all the challenges we face as a country, Britain is a place where people of all races and all beliefs can fulfil their dreams. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree with you. I, that's what I, I completely agree with that sentiment. That is what Britain is. Do you know why? Because we're an equal opportunities country. Whether you're black, white, brown, blue, green, fucking dead, you've got equal opportunities in this country, okay? So don't let anyone tell you that they are held back by a racist patriarchy in this country. Because if that were true, those two people on the fucking right-hand side of the screen there would not be sitting where they are. Remember that. Anytime someone tells you that you're living in a country that holds people back based on their race, just look at the people who are in charge. Just look at what people you have in your places of authority. And if you have a, a diverse range of people, then it is impossible. It is impossible for you to be living in a society where race or gender is holding you back. All that's holding you back in this country is you and you applying yourself. You know, just like just like Walter White says to Jesse, you never applied yourself. If you do, you're so smart and if you'd applied yourself, you'd have done really well in school. But what we find is that companies are being forced to lower the bar. Even, even things as simple as the fire brigade, yeah? The fire brigade has to have a rigorous training course or an entry course or something like that. And what they're trying to do now is they're trying to make it a little bit easier for the female firefighters because they can't do the, the one that all the blokes have been doing all this time. Sorry, love. If you can't pick up a fucking dead body or if you can't pick up a heavy body, throw them over your shoulder, you know, do your fireman's lift and carry them out with all that all that gear on you and the mask in a burning building. Yeah then you shouldn't be a fire person. Okay? And that go that goes for me. I'm, I'm a streak of piss. I would never be able to do that job. I'm not strong enough. I'm not fit enough. I smoke like a fucking chimney. I'd never be able to do... I'm more likely to cause fires than to fight them. Okay? And so this is what we see. We're, we're having... We're having organisations lowering the bar because other people are saying that the fact that they didn't do well or that they don't have the what it takes, that's racist or that's sexist. No, no, it's not. It's you not being able to apply yourself. You're not able to adapt to that situation. I'm sure there are things out there that you could do. I'm sure there are. And, and there is an opportunity for you to do it. But if you don't meet the fucking bar, then you can't do that. I'm sorry. Okay, that's the way it is. It's meritocracy. Okay, if you can do the fucking job, then you should be allowed to do it without prejudice. But if you can't, no matter what your fucking skin colour, you should be sacked or never employed there in the first place. Okay, so we do live in a country of of opportunity for people of all races and ages and sexes. That's not true in every country and many didn't and many didn't think that they would live to see the day when it would be true here. It's part of what makes us all so proud to be British. Yeah.